Deputies had poured over this Lathrop home in early July after investigators say a man allegedly killed his older brother and went on a crime spree. Within three minutes of that call going out that a homicide had occurred, we had 25 to 50 officers rush down to Lathrop. Sheriff Patrick Withrow says within two hours, the suspect was in custody. Uh, we will never allow anyone to hamper our ability to protect our citizens. This investigation is an example, the sheriff says, of his deputy's dedication. It's been over a year and a half that they have been not paying that part, part of the bill. Despite Lathrop owing at least $1.6 million. We're just getting to the point where uh, I continue to break the law if I allow them to have these services for free, and I'm, I'm just not willing to do that. The sheriff will now request to invoke a clause, if approved by the Board of Supervisors Tuesday, would effectively end the contract between Lathrop and the sheriff's office by next February. I am going to fight tooth and nail to keep our citizens safe. Lathrop City Councilwoman Minnie Diallo plans to be at that meeting. What we can't do is come February 1st, not have any type of plan in place to keep our citizens safe. In a statement, the city manager's office says while the city is grateful for the sheriff's office, they are ready to protect their own, saying we are committed to providing the residents of Lathrop with an orderly transition of service through July 1st, 2022, the anticipated stand update of our new police department. Uh, they're in the process of forming their own police department, which I think is absolutely fantastic. The sheriff says it's up to the city now. This is in Lathrop's hands. In Lathrop, K Reseed, KCRA 3 News. The city of Lathrop also said they look forward to working with the sheriff in good faith to find some solutions. And the sheriff added it's going to be up to a judge to decide whether to order the city to pay what it owes.